Hey, how's it going? It's Joseph here. Today I want to show you some basic methods in SketchUp to add materials. And let's get to it. I'm going to upload this model onto 3D Warehouse as well so you can start from the same point but this is basically where I have left the last tutorial so you can pick up from there as well. Once you start it's gonna look something like this. So here is the seating that we created last time and that's what it looks like and we want to focus on adding materials on here. Uh, just make sure you have a materials dialog open. If you don't go to window default tray and then materials if you click that it should kind of show up here if you don't see the any of the tray entirely then just make sure that you click here where it's gonna say show tray so once that tray comes up materials gonna be there in model and these are the materials that I have already used you're also free to just use one of these materials that I have used so for example, if I just click this and then just click on there, then it's just gonna receive the same material on there. And also the inner side, um, I have used those material as well as if I pick the pink one and it's just gonna receive the same material. However, um, I'm gonna show you how to create these materials entirely together. So just back out by pressing undo. And then I'm going to use what SketchUp um, already gives you as a default library. So just go on to carpet, fabric, leathers, and textiles. And here, what I have done is you can pick this greenish one, which is called Carpet Plush Forest. And click on there, and it's going to be slightly green. So let's modify to suit our needs. Um, I didn't really like how big the texture was. So if I go to edit and then change that value to say 100, um, you'll see some repeats, but in distance uh, it seemed okay to me. It's just that I needed to take out the green uh, tone from it. So what I can do is just make sure instead of color wheel, you're at HLS and then just lower that down there. And then you should be somewhat of a dark gray. Um, if you want to darken it, you can move the slider, L slider to left and to right to make it lighter. I'm going to park it right there. And if you wish to go back to reset, so you can just click that and then it should kind of go back. Here's what I want there. And I just need to do the same thing, but lighter version of this. So what I can do is actually I would change the name. So here is uh, dark fabric 01. So from here, what I can do is create material. There's a little icon there. Click on that. And then a dialog should pop up. It's going to take the same values. It's just going to be exactly the same thing here. I'm just going to say light fabric 01. And then it's going to be slightly lighter. So I'm just going to click here to make it lighter okay and then with paint bucket tool B for short click click and it's gonna receive that there and also as far as this cushion you're free to just sample that and put it there um, as this was not necessarily the one that came with a SketchUp you can just sample what I have included in the pack if you don't like this one what you can do is go to um, the fabric again and then say choose this carpet diamond yellow something like this if you want yellow um, notice how the texture isn't really matching up um, if that concerns you uh, we can modify that but first we can also go to edit and then change that into different color if you wish to so for example I got it blue there um, but I do want kind of either X on one side so this is when the extension comes in. So this is an extension that you can get off Extension Warehouse and it is called Fredo Tools by Fredo6. First go to Window, Extension Warehouse 
and then you're gonna find Fredo tools and you should be able to find that and download once you download um, icon like this should show up if not just right click on the empty area and then Fredo tools uh, should show up and once that shows up um, you click on that and through paint is what you want let's go to selection tool double click to highlight this component and once the surface is highlighted just go to through paint whilst that's um, highlighted or activated as your material first let's give it a try with this one here uh, the flat one you can leave out the rest if you want you can match with mine so it is going to apply the material based on your red and green so make sure um, it's lining up with what you want to do so let's say I want to do it to red to the left and green to the bottom side click and then it's just gonna warp it slightly I've noticed the result like this when I'm using the flat version and also the distorted version um, you can do it to kind of funky shape um, but it wasn't really what I was um, wanting to do basically I'm not going to use that but what you can do is once you apply the material if you want to apply again there's a description that's going to say on the bottom and control alone to force repaint so I hit control once and then that should show up again and I can just apply that there and yeah that's basically not what I exactly want so I'm just gonna go on to this uh, projected UV and basically it's gonna line up based on how you're looking at it so in this case I'm gonna look at it sort of flat on like this and then just make sure my red is somewhat pointing to the center and then there you go my X goes that way and also the same and it's throughout the entire cushion and that's basically what I wanted um, if you don't like the positioning of it um, say I wanted the X somewhere there and I can do it there and because that is centered here it's going to be um, putting the X there and now that is what it looks like and you can add on to your furniture collections so basically that's how you add materials inside a sketchup also using an extension if you need to hope you have enjoyed this video if you liked it please like it if you want to continue watching please subscribe until the next video see you next time